What's going on guys? I've received a couple questions regarding smart probes and how to charge a system with smart probes. So this is just going to be a quick walkthrough on that. Uh, basically all you need with the smart probes is a access tee. This is a CPS tee. It's a finger tight swivel tee. You can buy two of them. They come in packs of two from True Tech Tools for under 20 bucks. Um, that and a charging hose with a ball valve is really all you need to charge a system. Um, once you hook up the T, you hook up the transducer, hook up your charging hose, doesn't matter which orientation you have, personal preference. Um, hook up to the tank, open your tank. The only other thing that's any different um, would be before you actually go to open this up and charge your system, you want to make sure you bleed this hose and also the other side of the hose. So it's hard to do with one hand, but I would just unscrew this, let that end bleed until the air is removed and then do the same thing with this six inch side of the hose before I were to uh, open this ball valve and start throttling in refrigerant. I'm charging with vapor here, so it's not that important, but if you were charging with a liquid, um, then you would wanna make sure that you throttle this ball valve instead of slamming the system with re liquid refrigerant. And other than that, watch your refrigerant scale. Uh, the same setup that I have here can be done with any of the smart probes. Uh, whether it's the uh, Sporlin Smart Pro R, which you see here, the Testo Smart Probes, Appion Ion, that particular, the Ion comes with a Appion Charging T in the set. Um, also, it will be the same with the Field Piece whenever they come out, and you could do the same thing if you wanted to with the uh, Yellow Jacket Mantooth. They're all basically going to have the same setup as you see here, so hopefully that answers any questions you might have. Uh, in regards to charging, obviously if you wanted to remove refrigerant, you'd simply take this tee off, add it to your liquid side, and you would be ready to uh, obviously put a recovery cylinder on your scale, and then you'd be ready to pull any refrigerant out that you needed to. So, hope that cleared that up. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask.